Welcome everybody back to Victory Over Chaos Review. And today, kids, we are going to be reviewing a very popular drink, The Bang. Everybody's been raving about this. Now this kind of could go either way. It could either go as a pre-workout, if you want to get enough energy just to go work out. And that's really what it's advertised as. But it also can be a energy drink. We're going to kind of review it as an energy drink and also as a pre-workout. So. Yes, we're going to actually be doing two reviews on one supplement. You can't just leave it as one. No. I mean, you see a can like this, you automatically think energy drink, right? But, you know, they, they advertise it, like you said, as a pre-workout. Mm -hmm. So Because it has BCAs and creatine. Creatine, CoQ10. Yeah, some beneficial healthy stuff in there. Now, there is a disclaimer. Oh, yeah. Let's go over that. You must be 18 years old to ride this ride. Why? Yeah, so there's a lot of caffeine in here. Uh, 300 milligrams of caffeine. Uh, so I guess they warn against that. You know, they want you to be at least 18 years old to consume this much caffeine. Yeah, I remember Lit only had 250. 250. So this has 300. Good point. I'm glad you brought that up, actually. You have the Rainbow. Rainbow Unicorn, Unicorn. is my flavor. And I have socks on, too. Okay, <laughs> he's got pink. If you like pina coladas. So, yep, that is my favorite flavor. So let's, do, let's talk about cost though, first. Yeah. So cost is, actually I've seen it about $2.29. I've seen it for that price, but I've also seen some places where you can get a deal for, uh, you can actually get two for $4. So that makes yes. it $2. Uh, that is a pretty good price if you're looking at energy, energy drinks. Versus a pre-workout, that's actually gonna be on the high end. Yes. Most pre-workouts, per scoop or per serving are going to be about a dollar uh, twenty to about to a dollar thirty to dollar fifty is extremely you know usually yeah. so if you're looking at two dollars per serving that that's quite a bit yeah so we're let's let's do pre workout first yeah let's just go over the pre workout for pre workout first. review for cost I gave it a five yeah for cost um I gave it a six now let's talk about taste. Yeah, so taste. And this is kind of a skewed voting system on this one here because they got so many different flavors. I don't want to call Rainbow Unicorn my favorite, but it's called Rainbow Unicorn, guys. I mean, come on. How can you go wrong with unicorns? That was probably my third favorite. My first favorite, of course, Second would be Star Blast. Yeah, Star Blast is pretty good. And then they even have a cotton candy version. I think, what, what's your favorite? My favorite's going to be the Star Blast. Star Blast. Yeah, yeah that's my second. As far as taste goes. Now, I mean, if we're going with theme, and you, you which know. believe it or not, people will buy something with a pretty wrapper on it. All right, so yeah, let's go with taste. I actually, yeah. for a pre workout taste, I gave it an eight. Yeah, I gave it a seven. Solid seven. As far as pre workouts go, it's pretty good taste. It's good. It's no lit. It's no lit, I'll tell you that. But it is good. Now, let's go to actually the performance of Bang during your workout. Are you going to get, let's, let's look at Pump first is going to be, actually I gave it a uh, two. Even though it says that there is niacin in it, it has to be a pretty low amount. It doesn't give the exact amount on it. It says it's like down there where all the vitamin C, 50%. It says 25% on here, but yeah. I, I really don't believe, I do not get that much of a pump from, from I mean, this. Is, are you supposed to have 20% daily value of I, niacin? I don't know. I don't but think so. I gave it a two. What did you give it there? Yeah, I gave it <clears throat> I gave it a two also on the pump. I actually agree. Yeah. Rare. Now focus, <clears throat> I did go a little bit higher. Uh, I gave it an eight. I gave it a six. Now who's being stingy? I just it's when I'm thinking pre-workout, I don't think it comes in a can. You know, I guess it just it may be a placebo effect on me. I feel like it's more of an energy drink rather than a pre-workout, but I mean it's still a six. It's better than five, right? I mean it's only good. Six stuff. is higher than five, yes. Yes. Right, let's go to energy. Eight. I gave it an eight. An eight! He gave it an eight! What did I give it? I gave it an eight as well. <laughs> eight. Yes, yes, he did. An eight. Energy, uh, energy wise, it is, it is good. Because now, remember, it has 300 milligrams of caffeine in it. Yeah. Not 200, 300. Not 250. Not 200. Not 275. 300! Okay, let's go to Crash. Now, this is actually post. We're going to go to the post review uh, Crash. Do you crash from it? No. Yeah, no, I gave it a nine. Not nine. 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 I gave it a nine as well. The mood, uh, nine for me. No, yeah. So, yeah, no, I gave it a two. 
<laughs> you gave it a 10 on the mood. Uh, actually, I gave it a 10. I gave something a 10 he did. on this one. I'm proud of you. Mood, yeah. I actually always feel really great after I take this. And in fact, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. Um, it'll make more sense here in a minute. But yeah, 10 for the mood. So that's going to give your average, Derek, is... My average came out to a whopping 6.7. 6 point shot. And I felt a little bad with that because honestly, this is this is better than a 6.7. Yeah, I was a we'll little bit surprised. We'll get there. We'll get there. Now, the, remember, this is for the pre-workout review. Exactly. Mine was actually, I give it a 7.1. Mm -hmm. So our average for a pre-workout drink is going to be 6.9 for so a pre-workout. Remember, it Lynn, to a solid 7, I feel like is good. I feel like I would place it as a, this at a solid 7. I mean, I would give it that because <clears throat> mine was a 7.1. So mm -hmm. I'm okay with 7. Seven's good. This is a good, good rating. So seven for a pre-workout. Now let's go to as an energy drink. Yes. Now cost here, let's look at this. Think about how much energy drinks cost. I've seen all the way up to almost $4. Five bucks, some of them, honestly. Really? Dead serious. Like you get those big Red Bulls, you know, like the big size ones? No, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Like a 32 inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like a tall boy beer. I still don't I know, but I'm you imagining. Know, the, the big ones, you know what I'm talking about. Look like a brick, like huge. Anyway, I mean, y'all know, know what I'm talking about. He may not know, but they make big energy drinks, and they cost like five bucks, six bucks. That's crazy. That's serious. That's crazy. Yeah, you don't need big ones with this, with 300 milligrams of caffeine. So, anyway, remember so. this one, you can actually, if you find it like, you know, two for four dollars. Yes. That's two dollars. Essentially, you're paying two bucks. So, I gave it for cost for an energy drink, I gave it a nine. If you drop a two dollar bill on one of these, my hat is off to you, sir. I mean, I'm just saying. Anybody dropping two dollar bills, that's some swag. Now let's also talk about taste versus for yes. Think so, about how disgusting and repulsive every energy drink that I drink out. I'm like, you know, and which I'm not a big energy. I don't like all the sugar because there's a crash well, and they everything. Make sugar free, but yeah. They do make sugar free. Yeah. Have you not seen those? This monsters? is sugar free. Yeah, it is. By the way, this is sugar free, so that's a plus because I'm diabetic. In case y'all didn't know, but yeah, they make you know like the monsters, like the white monsters, the blue monsters, the red monsters. I don't know, this is the devil, so I don't drink it. Oh, yeah, Mr. 666 Hebrew. Yeah, but anyways, they do have sugar-free Red Bulls as well. Okay, so let's go back to taste, though. Taste, I, yes. I gave it a 10 on taste for as far as an energy drink goes. I mean, like like we were talking about, as, as far as the, the taste of a lot of energy drinks, not that great. You're drinking it for energy. You're not drinking it for taste, right? But this actually has a fantastic taste. It does. Yeah, compared to other energy drinks. And I give it a 9. Mm -hmm because I'm still stingy. Yes. Okay, now let's go to, is, is it gonna give you a pump? We kind of just scratch that because it's not a pre-workout. The focus still for me is an eight. You still give it a six. Yeah. Energy still, still about the same. Eight and eight. Those levels. That's not gonna change. And of course, on crash, scores are the same. Exactly. So, for an energy drink, the average came out for Derek. Oh, it was actually high. Really? It was actually a little bit. Was yeah. mine an eight point five? Uh huh. Mine eight. was an eight point five average for an energy drink. Wise. And mine was an eight point eight for an energy. So Bringing our grand total average to eight point seven. Yes. All right. So yeah, I actually like this almost as a coffee supplement of the morning because if you're like me, I'm so busy at night, I don't want to take time to actually make coffee and put it in the fridge because I like cold coffee, or even wake up early in the morning and you know just make it. I'm just, so I really like to get these on the go. Quick. Now there is a rumor about Bang they say that you can set it on fire and it go boom, boom, boom. It literally will go bang. I mean, that's kind of cool. We're gonna put that through the test. Yes, we are. We're gonna light it on fire. I really do hope it works. I, I, okay, well, there's a part of me that's like, a, I wanna <laughs> see it catch on fire, but then there's another part of me that's like, I'm putting that into my body yeah. all the time. But yeah, if my if my energy drink catches on fire, I probably don't wanna drink it anymore. Have you seen that Asian guy that tries to drink his, his, and he lights his crotch on fire? No. What do you watch, boy? <laughs> it's like the funniest video ever. I don't Asian guy and his girlfriend comes over and she's like trying to pat his crotch. It out. Okay, you need to talk to God about what you're watching <laughs> at home, okay? Stop talking. Let's she go test this. Funny. Stop talking. Focus. I'm just playing. We're gonna go test this theory out, see if this stuff catches on fire. That's it, right? Okay. What that? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? 
We're so, here uh, testing the flame theory to the bang. I'm freezing our rear ends off. It's really cold. So hopefully this is going to work. I hope so it catches warm. fire. Yes, I'm freezing. Okay. Yeah, don't right, catch my right. hand on fire. Wait, it has, it has a double side, yeah, so we yeah. can... One, two... Oh, wait. 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 What are you doing, man? Have you poured it off? <laughs> no, we haven't even poured it out yet. <laughs> this tells you how cold it is. You know, it's also a late night pump night, by well, the way. It's all kind of leaking. Oh, boy. Well, we mixed pina colada and rainbow unicorn, so maybe yeah. that'll add some extra fuel to the fire. Oh, oh, whoa. One, two. And the theory is fake. No, no. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. Let's actually, I'm going to stick it to it. Ooh. Oh. It did make a little sizzle. It did, it did. Okay, so let's try one more time. One more. Just Third time's a charm. Okay, and. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. So, theory so, is fake, uh, not real. It's not real. Yeah. So these are safe to drink after all, <laughs> unless yep. you're under 18. Again, you must be 18 years old to ride this ride. Why? Um, and don't forget, if you enjoyed what you saw today, don't forget to like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you get notifications, hit that little bell. Ding, ding, ding. Any closing thoughts, Derek? You need to work on your closing. <laughs> no, I'm just like, that's probably it's true. <laughs> be on the lookout for our new line. Uh, we got some new t-shirts coming out. Book at the first of the year, Victory Over Chaos, written by my buddy here, Blaine Lane. Make sure to check that out, guys. Anything else? I'm gonna ask you anything else. Is it gonna keep... It's like the buzzards on the Jungle Book. What I thought there was that? something more I wanted to say. <laughs> God, bless. It's too late. It's too. No, it's too long. That's what she said. Jeez, him. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> stop it. So, so fire didn't work. Apparently, kind of disappointing. Yeah. Yeet!